So in today's video, I got a comment saying, can you show me how I can use the Nikon to vlog or is it even possible? Perfect scenario, I would not recommend the Nikon for public vlogging or just vlogging about your day in typical YouTube style. What I would recommend is something much more compatible and smaller, which is the Sony RX Mark 3, 4, or 5 paired with the Manfrotto mini tabletop tripod. This would be a much more preferable vlogging setup because A, it is super small and compact as you can see. Pretty much almost half, I would say even two thirds the size, smaller than the Nikon. And it's super simple. And if you haven't seen my review on this yet, just click in the link in the description below. And that is my recommended vlogging setup. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna answer whether or not you should actually vlog or can you vlog with the Nikon D5000 model. and the short, simple, and sort of complicated answer is yes. But you will need a couple of things. First is you need some sort of tripod because if you wanna handhold this as a vlogging camera, it does get pretty heavy and tricky, especially if you hold it here or you somehow hold it like this, like this. Sooner or later, you're gonna drop it. So what I recommend is have some kind of tabletop tripod and the one that I recommend is the Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2, which is made specifically for heavier DSLRs. And uh, the difference between this and this tabletop tripod is that it, it can hold a heavier weight as well as its legs can extend and have higher height. Next, when it comes to using your Nikon DSLR as a vlog camera, if it's your only choice, then you need external audio. And what I recommend is the Rode Video Micro. It is batteryless and it uses the power of the Nikon battery. And it is very small and compact if you take off the dead cat, as you can see here, and it plugs directly into the Nikon camera and that will give you a better range of audio source. Now that you have your tripod ready, your Nikon camera, Next, I'm going to go briefly into how you would actually focus this because if you use a Nikon camera, you already know that Nikons, you should not use autofocus on a Nikon camera, especially if you're vlogging. So what I recommend is, I have a video on this, is you go into the, the settings of your Nikon camera and make sure that it's on AFS mode. So pretty much what you do is you pick up the vlog camera. And before you press record when you're vlogging like this, you half press the shutter button and you will hear the beep. In other words, the front is focused or whatever it's fixated on is focused. And you can check if you're in focus in the LCD screen to your right. And you just need to once in a while remember that you need to make sure to half press it and then you press record. And that is the basics of how you vlog on a Nikon camera. Specifically, this is the D5200, as well as your preferred lens. Like you can go as heavy as you want for a lens, but if you're just starting out and you had no other option and or any other camera, I would go with the lightest lens. And for me, it's the 18 to 55 kit lens. And that is the vlogging setup that I used to actually vlog live, believe it or not before I invested in the Sony RX100. And to answer your question, yes, it is possible to vlog with a Nikon camera. Although it can get a little burdensome and heavy and you might get tired of it, but yes, you can definitely vlog with a Nikon camera. So this is how you would hold it like this, point it at yourself, half press the shutter, let it focus and then press record and make sure that you pretty much have to stay fixated within whatever that it's focused on. So for example, if I were to vlog right now, half press it, I look that I am in focus right now. And if I wanted to vlog, I would pretty much remember that this is the length that the camera is actually going to be focusing on. 
And that is how you vlog on a Nikon camera because you don't want to have autofocus on when you're vlogging, especially with the D5000 model. So you, what you want to remember is when you do place your camera down, make sure you manually focus back to whatever you're trying to focus on. But when you do talk to the camera for vlogging purposes, make sure you have pressed the shutter again and now your face should be unfocused and it does look like a little ridiculous of a vlog setup but it is possible to vlog with a nikon camera but the truth is if you had the money and the resources i would much rather have you invest something along the lines of a sony rx 100 or G7X, as these are much more friendlier to start with, especially if you want to get into vlogging. Instead of talking head videos, I would much more recommend you use the Sony RX or the Canon G7X. So to answer your question, can the Nikon camera be used for vlogging? Yes. The reality is any camera can be used for vlogging. It's just how you creatively think of a way and a solution. If the Nikon camera is not your best go-to, then there are always other alternatives, but I've always been a believer of news what you got. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.